secret of speed and optimum performance on the water is all related to how you trim the boat. The more the boat is piercing through the air than through the water, the faster the boat is going to be. The fountain hull is a deep V design that gives the advantage of knifing through the top of the water by creating lift and minimizing hydrodynamic drag. The first feature we've introduced is the pad keel. This is the 15 inch raised surface in the V of the boat that runs the entire length of the hull. When the boat is running at high speed, it runs up on this pad, thus reducing the wetted surface and hydrodynamic drag. This pad is V'd at a slightly lesser degree to increase speed. However, it's still angled to give you a smooth re-entry in rough water. The next component is the notch transom. This is a notch in the back of the hull which allows us to raise the drive height or X dimension, which reduces the wetted surface of the gear case while still getting enough water to the props to propel the boat forward. The next feature is the positive lift hull design. This is a series of angle steps along the bottom of the boat that change the angle of attack of the hull to the water to create lift. There are also a series of air induction vents which force air under the boat and aerate the hull. The aerated water breaks surface tension and creates a slippery surface which reduces friction and drag. The next key component is matching the hull design with the proper propulsion system. The stern drive allows you to trim the boat at different angles for different speeds and for different water conditions. On the back of each and every fountain boat, you have a set of trim tabs or afterplanes. When in the down position, they allow you to prop the boat on plane quickly, driving the stern of the boat up and the nose down. They allow you to adjust for uneven side-to-side -side loads in your boat. And finally, they extend the bottom of the boat which can come in handy in rough water conditions. On the dash, you have indicators which show the exact position of the tabs at all times. But initial takeoff, we want the tabs down and we want the drives in. We're gonna take off, it gets on plane pretty quick and uh, as the speed picks up, you might wanna take a look at the, the drives and the tabs and how they move uh, out and up as we take off. I'll do a count and yell at plane when we hit plane. The blow gets the plane pretty quickly here. We just hit it, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. In three seconds, we're on plane. The next move, keeping my hand near the throttle, I raise up, and I'm lifting my tabs up. Next, I want to do is trim my motors up, because I'm up running now at better than 50 miles an hour. If I want to go faster, I'm going to raise my tabs up to about parallel, which is three on most fountain boats. I'm now going to start trimming my engines out as I give this thing gas. Now I'm up on top, I'm running 65. As I slow back down, I bring my drives down, my tabs back down again, because I need more lift in the back of the boat. We're going slower, the water's becoming softer. I need some uh, extra lift with the tabs to hold those, those three motors up and to take care of the extra weight in the back of the boat. I also want to be sure to note you need to slow down to make a turn as I've done here. I'm down right now at about 22 or three miles an hour. I'm coming back out of the turn. We slowly straighten back up and we head back up the river at a nice, slow, easy pace. Each new fountain boat comes with a test report that has been generated on your boat. This report will show you the actual drive and trim tab settings at various RPM and speed levels. Please refer to this report so that you can duplicate the performance that our test drivers or myself have gained with your boat while testing it here at the factory.